Yes. Okay, warm greetings to all. My topic for today would be fundamentals of research methods and methodology. And uh, here are the slides. Okay, so this is the outline of my discussion today. We will be discussing these topics. What are the different major research outlines? How do we select topic for our research? And what is the statement of the problem? How do we identify research gaps? And how do we formulate purpose, research questions and research objectives? And what are the different types of research design? And what are the different uh, data collection methods? And uh, what are the differences between data analysis and data interpretation? And I will end with validity and reliability. So these are the major topics for my presentation on methodologies and methods. And a note uh, of caution, vocabulary varies depending on the authors we read and each author presents one term and means differently. Uh, even the same author like Cresswell uses one uh, word to mean different things. So you have to read, 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 and understand the differences in the vocabulary. So what are the two major research outlines? The major uh, one is what we call as the standard academic outline. So it has chapter one basically is introduction. Chapter two is literature review. Basically we are looking at the theoretical development of a certain phenomenon. Chapter three is methodology. Chapter four for qualitative research is called re, uh, findings. In quantitative research is called results. And chapter five is conclusion. For a quantitative research, it's called discussion. But on the other hand, there's also the model called IMRAD, which is a little different. Uh, the reason for which is the professional fields like medicine, uh, nursing, public health, they don't really care much about the theory. They care about the current uh, findings in the laboratory. For instance, are the vaccines of, uh, to fight against polio or, or COVID-19 effective or not? That's what they want to find out, not the theories. So for the professional level, they have the introduction, including the actual advances in medicine and the gaps. Okay, so we find out Pfizer is not that good, Moderna is not that good, Sinovac is not that good. So what do we need to do? So the literature is based on the actual advances in medicine. Unlike in the standard academic literature, it's a separate chapter and we look at the theoretical development. For the professional fields like medicine and nursing and public health, they don't really care about the theory. They care about how good a medicine is, okay? Or does MSG have effect on the health of people? Or we can even say, uh, what are the effects of turmeric, curcumin on human health? So they're looking at uh, the, ac the actual testing of whether a given natural herb is effective or not to help with human health. And second, they just look directly at methods. For example, experiment. They don't look at the bigger picture of methodology uh, as in the standard academic research, focusing only on methods. And then results because it's mostly quantitative and discussion because it's mostly quantitative uh, in the professional fields. But then uh, how do we choose? Which model should you use? Well, it depends on the university. For example, your university says you should use IMRAD, then you should use IMRAD. If your university says, no, <clears throat> you should use the standard academic outline, then you follow the standard academic outline. So that's the, uh, the difference.